for your world class bone collection. <laughs> Good, you're both here. I was just about to tell Nasher it's time he got rid of these. Nash? No way, not the bones! <laughs> there are several well-regarded blogs about Nasher's impressive collection. <laughs> Largest bone ever procured from a Northern Hemisphere takeaway. Mmm, Nasher! Obscenely large wishbone doubling as a powerful menace catapult. That speaks for itself, really. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to start a blog about my garden. But... No buts. This back garden is a bone-free zone. And that's final. <laughs> Curly, pie face, crisis treehouse meeting now. <laughs> Operation Bone Transplant is go! We need ideas now! Nash's bones need a new home. <laughs> we could start a touring xylophone ensemble. <laughs> Anything else? Or sneak them into an everyday domestic setting? <laughs> uh, no, what we need is an all new bone zone. Somewhere Nasha can access any time of day. It's somewhere we can keep an eye on things. Ah, genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> That's the last of them. Nice digging, Nasha. <laughs> well, I huh? never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Dennis, at school on a Saturday? <laughs> Don't tell me you're here for the lecture. Lecture? Putting the fun in quantum physics? Well, actually, Walter, we were uh, up to something I should be reporting to the headmaster. Oh, Dennis, Curly and Pieface. <laughs> Joining us for some extracurricular learning, I see. Uh, Walter. FYI, Dennis, that is no fun in quantum physics. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect Nash's precious bones. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh. 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 I think I need to lie down. Well, anything to keep your bones safe, Nasha. <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> I never thought subatomic particles could be so side-splittingly funny. It was like a comedy club with learning. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, ouch. <gasps> what on earth have we got here? Fetch me a paleontologist. Post haste. Spend a bit of quality time with your bones while we're in class, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Uh-oh! Looks like you got company, Nasha! <laughs> and that, I presume, is the dorsal vertebrae? Yes, indeed it is, my boy! A mighty fine specimen! Good show, Dr. Paleo. I'm certainly glad we called a professional. Huh? What is that? That, my boy, is the world's first mutton bovine poultry thorus. I prefer Waltosaurus. Mutton bovine poultry thorus. I like Waltosaurus. We like Waltosaurus. Waltosaurus. Ah. How about your old Notsosaurus? These aren't dinosaur bones. The Nashes! Preposterous, young man! Why, the dog would simply collapse like a moist towel without bones! Uh, not Nash's actual bones, his world class collection! What kind of dinosaur wears a bow tie anyway? <clears throat> Hands up all the qualified paleontologists present! Hmm? Anybody? I, I know my hand is up! No? No? That's what I thought! Uh. 
Dr. Paleo, Dennis is just peeved that he wasn't the one to make the archaeological find of the century. It was, in fact, for the record, me! Bravo, Walter! Oh, Charlie, God, Bravo, Bravo, Walter! These bones belong to science now. They're going on a round-the-world tour as soon as I have them assembled. And when will that be? Tomorrow! <laughs> what? And don't even think about any funny business, Dennis. The Waltosaurus will be the most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotel. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you the second most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. The T-Rex at the museum. If they want a dinosaur to take on tour, we will give them one. Nash, nash. Are you ready to make menacing history? Nasha! Let's make many history! Then phase two of Operation Bone Transplant begins. Meet tomorrow before school at the museum. <laughs> This one as is. Nash. Let's get this dinosaur mobile. <laughs> Time to move this to the dig site before they ship out Nash's collection from Beano Town for good. Nash. 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 Let's get going. Nobody. What are you doing down there? Hmm? Oh, just helping out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you missed a bit, Nasha. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, I see. Oh, well. <sighs> so, anyone got any idea how to assemble this thing? Beano Town, this is a proud day indeed. Beano Town's first ever dinosaur is about to go on a round the world tour. Do you think they'll notice the difference? <gasps> what? <gasps> no! That's no Waltosaurus. My expert eye tells me these are not even dinosaur bones. What do we do, Doctor? <laughs> Smile for the cameras, my boy. Uh, hello! Smile and hope nobody notices. But... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Beanotown, I give to you the Mutton Bovine Poultry Forum! <laughs> 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 Dad said the back garden was a bone-free zone, but he never said anything about the front garden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. This falls earmarks for Nash's bones. Dennis! Hey? Eh? <laughs> Get me out of here! Looks like Dad's got a bone to pick with you, Nasha. <laughs> 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 
I'm sorry to say, children, I have shocking news. Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Oh, these are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. Only if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's gonna fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha! How often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector. But you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years. And that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school at all. <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely gonna fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What will happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're gonna turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. Want a helping hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm. Maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! So this is Beano Town School. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll sup to the demise of Beano Town School. Two teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. To my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, fudge powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? Oh, oh. Goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. Yeah! Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... Anarchy, headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the classroom. Say that again. This is not looking good, Headmaster. And that's...
school bell is late. <laughs> Mr. Pencil? Mr. Pencil! Yeah, yeah. I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! Ha-ha! <laughs> Treehouse in one hour. Time to start plotting the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but who? It's impossible. Yes. Yes, this is. Yes, this. <laughs> Necessarily, Curly. We think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as. Two, two. Right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr. School Inspector? What if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Uh, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. <laughs> Excellent at archaeology, which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> Not bad, eh? A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. <laughs> 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 But I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right. But our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure form myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> So fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. Three little words. I will be back. We did it! <laughs> Nasha did it! <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? <laughs> 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 Thank <sniffs> you.
Some of us are trying to sleep! Hey, Dennis, I think your dad's up. Then our work here is done. Next up, a surprise din at Butch Butcher's. Don't want to miss the opening time rush. Let's roll! <laughs> to you frittering away the day with this time, Dennis. I think he means what are you up to. Oh, right. The Dim Makers are on tour. We're rocking Mino Town. Well, make sure you steer well clear of the park at midday. The annual Beano Town Jurassic Model Competition can do without your unevolved brand of noise. Thank you very much. <laughs> I guess I get it now. Oh, 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 comedy oh, rolls up. Oh, top drawer. Hmm. Looks like we've got ourselves an extra gig at midday. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Just me and my beautiful sausages. Nothing like it. <laughs> Bring the day! Oh, what? Ah, ah, hey! Don't let good sausages go to waste, Nasha! Hmm? Yes! Hey, hey, hey! Sorry, Butch. No time for an encore. We've got a busy tour schedule. All my pretty sausages. My morning parade call was ruined. And now the babies won't sleep. Uh. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> now, Harley, don't wriggle around too much. I don't want to end up in there with you. <laughs> You call that a din? Whew, tough crowd. Do you think she's gone to get a pie? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, not a pie then. <sighs> you want to make a proper din? You need the proper equipment. Whoa! A Mega Sonic 20K? I, I thought these were just a myth. As far as anyone else is concerned, they are. Feel free to take it for the day, if you dare. With a din maker's grant, dare is our middle name. No point in going on tour half-rocked. What does this button do? Oh, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. The turbo boost button is not to be... Dennis, it's almost midday. Everyone aboard! Last stop on the tour, Gran. We're going prehistoric with a T-Rex. <laughs> See ya! Dead bug glued to a leaf. Mm -hmm. Matchsticks arranged to form the word roar. Mm -hmm. A cardboard box with a toy dinosaur still on its plastic packaging. Mm. Well, the standard at the Beano Town Annual Jurassic Model Competition has definitely improved this year. Uh, uh, um. <gasps> 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 
Let's just do away with the formalities and skip straight to the winner's speech, shall we? I uh, prepared a few words, if you'll indulge me. First of all, I'd like to thank the geological process of sedimentary layering because without that, none of us would be here today. Curly, pie face, Nasha, let's get primal! <laughs> in, din makers. Be strong, Paul. the trophy. But, but, it's just a potato with teeth drawn on it. I know. As I said, the bar's been raised very high this year. Hmm. Oh, don't sulk, Walter. At least the Dinmaker's annual tour of Beano Town's over. Thank heavens for that. Until next year, of course. Love 
sports day? Oh, yes. Where's that, Dennis? Fresh air, no lessons, and a million ways to make menacing mayhem. Whoopee cushions, Curly? <laughs> Let the games begin! She'll love Sports Day too. I think Pie Face needs some help choosing a discus. Go, Nasha! Nasha boy! Oh, thanks, then. So, wind from the east, medium density cross. Come on, Pie Face! We haven't got all day! I'm lucky. Nice throw, Pie Face. Oh, sometimes you're just in the zone. <coughs> Dash! Dash! Oh, we're too late to menace this race. Patience, Curly. Three, two, one. That's my frog. Nash, nash, nash. <laughs> Toad. And the gold medal for menacing goes to... Cerys. Exactly. Oh. You have ruined sports day. Dennis, you've disgraced the school. Sir, it's clear he knows nothing about sportsmanship, unlike me. You're right. Walter, my boy, why don't you teach Dennis about discipline in the three-legged race? Genius idea, Headmaster. Me? Strapped to him? No way! <laughs> you come back here, Dennis! <laughs> come back here! Stop following me! Get off my way! Oh, I'd better tidy this up. Someone could trip over it. <laughs> Too late. Oh. oh, well, I've just had like a crazy thought. What about using Sergeant Slipper's handcuffs for the three legged race? What a good idea. I've been waiting ages to get these on, Dennis. Hang on a minute. Huh? Shall I look after the key for you, Sergeant? I'm going to win this race, so keep up. Oh, your shoelace is untied, Walter. Is it? Oh. <coughs> oh! <laughs> The winner is me! What? No, I did all the work. You let go my oh, I my the noise! Let go! <laughs> Ooh, that was your fault! Walter, you were a shining example to Dennis. Well, I'm always keen to help the school where I can. Uh, may we now consider this lesson finished? Get me out of this! I seem to have lost the key. What? Well, where did you last have it? Oh, over there, I think. Or maybe it was over there. Or there. Oh, dear. Where's the key, Angel Face? Not telling. I'll teach you to put a frog in my sack. Excuse me, what did I do? You laughed. 
Well, it was quite funny. Thanks, Walter. Oh, be quiet, Dennis. Well, let's see how funny you find this. Maybe I'll remember where the key is if the two of you get me, um, an ice drop flower from right at the top of Mount Beagle. That's miles away. Better get a move on then, hadn't you? This way! Nash! <laughs> Ow! Stupid animal! Don't talk about Nasha like that. I wasn't talking about Nasha. Oh, that's it! I've had enough. Nasha, chew my leg off. <laughs> you two have got to work together. Nasha, give them a rhythm. Nash! 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 Run, Walter! Run! Come back here, you young girl! Nash! 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 Why, you little monkey! You old dick! You done a shot! We can slow down now, Dennis! Menaces don't know the meaning of slow! <laughs> hey, nice timing, you two. A nice emergency break-in. Yep, uh, works every time. We've just got to climb the mountain. How hard could it be? <laughs> oh, I love a good nature ramble. This should be fun. Pie face, Curly, stay here. If I don't make it back, promise me you'll keep on menacing this town. OK, Nasha, let's do this. Nash! Oh, no, Dennis. This time we do it my way. <laughs> and if you look to your left, you'll see the lesser spotted pine tree. And... Oh, what's that? We work together. Truce? <laughs> Truce. Steady. <laughs> there it is. The ice drop flower. We made it. <laughs> oh, where is that key? Now, don't you worry, Angel Face. It'll pop up. We did it! Almost fell off a mountain, but we did it! Oh, well, a deal's a deal. Oops! Oh, I found it! Oh, it was round my neck all the time. Oh, oh well done, Angel Face. What? You're not seriously falling for that? Walter, you picked up Dennis's bad habits. Come on, let's get you uncuffed before there's any more damage. At last! <laughs> Back to normal. Yes! Half a trophy's better than none. Ah, it's a pity Angel Face got away scot free. As usual. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Read it. Handle this. Man down! Don't 
if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Tone Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. Oh. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, miss. Uh, I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a... Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie doke, Miss Mum. No! <coughs> oh! Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang. This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. 
I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash. 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 Hmm? A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We look ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <laughs> Nash. He's my teacher's pet, of course. So we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> oh. um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. <laughs> Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> <laughs> Looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not <laughs> so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow, that's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. Wonder if it still works. It does still work. Fingers on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> but I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. Good to have you back, miss. <laughs> Last day of the summer holidays. This is going to be the best day ever.
Help! Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? Yes. A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for fun. <laughs> Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over a hundred hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Miss, calm down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop bee starting nursery today. Oh, how many's that now? That would be number 12. <laughs> B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's <laughs> the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. What's this? New fence. Double strength this time. And I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. You no, know, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> ah, yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely heavy sticks. <laughs> Tank enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shelly. How many of these do you reckon you could nash? Now remember, be good. It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. A nice neat pile. Hey, what's what in there? You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you, and I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, time for the Levenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, no sense of humor, the young. Mm. Oh. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> Mush is back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down. No. my school homework 
Pink Essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh, pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? <coughs> Well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? Ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha? <laughs> oh, what you funny? I would like to thank my literary assistants, Bertie and Dudley. My homework! Don't worry, Walter. I haven't done mine either. to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <laughs> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Are my missing timbers. Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, uh, donated by the Colonel? But, but this is an outrage. An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angelface spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No. No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later, aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Ted Shut, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha. Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever! <laughs> 